Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the history of peptides. I don't talk a whole lot about peptides. SARMs have been my thing for the last couple of years. I love SARMs, but peptides are greatly expanding in popularity. A lot of guys are asking me questions about peptides, and so I'm going to start doing a few more videos about peptides, but I'm going to be really careful about these videos because a lot of people who have been doing videos on peptides have been getting banned from YouTube. So I'll be really careful with the content that I post regarding peptides on this channel. You guys can go check out my backup channel. It's all about peptides. I haven't posted a whole lot on there yet, but I will in the future. So today I'm going to talk about the history of the fat loss type peptides. As you guys know, there's been a huge explosion in popularity with peptides for fat loss. Big Pharma is kind of monopolizing the market right now and taking away from all these research chemical companies that you guys have grown to love over the last few years. So there's been a big issue where, you know, like I said, these companies that we've all been utilizing, like Chimera Chems and others, have been producing these peptides for a significant amount of time. You know, some of these companies are rather old. You know, some companies have been around for, you know, 15, 20 years producing these peptides, and now they're being forced to stop selling them by Big Pharma for reasons because, Obviously, Big Pharma is selling these at a huge markup, and they don't like the competition, right? There is nothing in history that I can find that has outperformed peptides in their revenue creation. So peptides are just breaking the charts when it comes to revenues brought in by these big pharmaceutical companies, and anybody that gets in their way is just simply getting shut down. The FDA has their hand in the back pocket of Big Pharma, and so Big Pharma is utilizing the FDA as its enforcement arm and going around and forcibly shutting down anybody selling the stuff at a reasonable price. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these research companies selling these peptides online are selling them at the same price as somebody in Europe could buy them from their doc. So you get onto one of these websites and you're paying, you know, anywhere from like 40 to 150 bucks for an entire vial of these peptides. And Big Pharma is selling the same thing for, you know, $2,000 or more depending on insurance brand and which particular peptide you're utilizing. So the pharmaceutical companies Pharmaceutical companies are making just stupid money off of these peptides. They are not <laughs> that expensive to manufacture. As you can see, the pharmaceutical industry and the medical complex over in countries, you know, European countries, et cetera, are selling these at the same price as the companies like Chimera are selling them here in the States. So, so prices on Chimera are quite reasonable. They're way less than what Big Pharma is charging for them. And there's no reason that they should be charging that much, right? So before I get into a whole lot more about peptides, though, keep in mind, I'm talking about these in a research aspect. I'm not encouraging or condoning their use. If you're going to utilize these products, please do it with the use and consultation of your doctor. Make sure you're going to your doctor and paying $2,000 for the vial of stuff you could buy for 100 bucks online. A lot of these doctors and clinics are buying from research companies like the one I mentioned earlier. And so you can either go buy it from the research company for 100 bucks or whatever it is or you can go to your doctor and buy exactly the same thing and pay like two thousand bucks for the vial right your choice i'm not encouraging you to do anything that is not 100 percent above ground but like i said if you're going to be utilizing them please consult your doctor you know there's a lot of us gym bros who have a lot of information to give but usually the doctor knows more even though they've never researched this stuff or studied this stuff in school they know significantly more about something they've never studied than somebody who's utilized it, right? All right, so to start with peptides and their history, they really started back in the 1950s when they discovered growth hormone-releasing peptides, or GHRPs, such as GHRP2 and GHRP6. These showed promise in stimulating the release of growth hormone from pituitary gland, which in turn promoted fat loss through enhanced lipolic. Peptides really started out in popularity back in the 1950s with GHRP. GHRP is growth hormone releasing peptides. The ones that they first found were GHRP2 and GHRP6. These showed a lot of promise in stimulating the release of growth hormone from the pituitary gland, which in turn promoted fat loss and enhanced lipolysis. Move up to the 1970s and 80s, research discovered ghrelin. It's a hormone that stimulates hunger and growth hormone release. So this led them to the synthetic peptides like hexarelin and ipamorelin. These were designed to mimic the impact of ghrelin without the side effects of hunger. And these peptides were really kind of the step forward that really enhanced the research with fat loss peptide. You move up to the early 2000s and peptides like CJC-1295 and AOD-9604 started coming onto the market. CJC-1295 is known for its long half-life and increased growth hormone and IGF-1 levels. It enhances fat metabolism. And then AOD-9604 is a fragment 
of human growth hormone and specifically targets fat loss without impacting blood sugar levels. So it's a really popular choice among researchers. It's a great product to add on to something like MK677 to magnify the results. Now, as far as my own personal use with these, I've used a combination of several of these. Primarily, when I first, before I even knew about peptides, really, my doctor prescribed a combination of GHRP2, CJC1295, and ipamorelin. So it came in a little vial, you know, you do an injection every night before bed. And, you know, it, I did notice a pretty significant difference. Looking back, the dose was extremely small, but he prescribed it to me to help increase growth hormone levels. And I feel like it did cause some noticeable changes. You know, primarily my hair and fingernails looked better. My skin was healthier. I was sleeping better. And uh, I did lean out a little bit while utilizing them. Like I said, it was a really low dose. So you know, it was just kind of a supplemental type product at that dosage. And this all started to change when Big Pharma realized they could make money off of helping people lose weight. Fucking mind blowing, right? So <laughs> this is when semaglutide and terzepatide really blew up in the market. These peptides became very well known for their ability to cause extreme weight loss. These aren't magic miracle pills, but people would be going to the doctor and getting an injection once a week, or some people were just injecting themselves. The doctor would give them a pen or they would just buy it from a research company at, you know, 20th of the price and do a weekly injection. And they were losing extreme amounts of weight. There's people all over social media who have posted pictures of their before and after, you know, thousands, if not tens of thousands of people who have lost over hundred pounds utilizing those products. So they're extremely well known for their fat loss capabilities. They do have some side effects that are usually minimal and almost non-existent on a per capita basis. And they do have some side effects that are positive too, such as with semaglutide, it, helps people cut out cravings of things that are unhealthy. For example, a lot of people have quit smoking successfully while utilizing semaglutide. Of course, all of these peptides are available on Chimera Kims, at least for now. I'm sure here in the near future, they are going to be forcibly stopped from selling these peptides because Big Pharma doesn't like the competition. Of course, Chimera and other companies offer a wide range of peptides that aren't just the ones I listed. There are other peptides such as Reditrutide, that show a lot of promise with helping with fat loss. So there are other ones as well. Tessamorlin, which is one that's really interesting to me for myself. This is something I might use in the future once I get cleared up of everything I have going on right now. But it's been used with HIV patients for visceral fat loss, and it has some very good promising research that's been done on it as well. So if you're looking for more information on peptides, I know there's going to be a big search for replacements of or replacements to semaglutide and terzepatide here in the near future because as Big Pharma shuts down these little companies from selling those two products, people are going to be looking for an alternative. And like I said, Tessa Morlin holds promise, Reda Trutide holds promise. There are a few others that are going to be coming out soon that hold promise as well for fat loss. A lot of these have already been tested in people and shown very good results. So they will probably be available for a while on these research companies' websites. And then Big Pharma will probably step in and take over again and forcibly stop them from selling those products as well. So I know Chimera Kims is doing a 4th of July sale. A bunch of other companies are as well. So if you are somebody who utilizes semiglutide or trisepatide specifically, it might be in your best interest to stock up on it now because there's a good chance it won't be on the shelves much longer. I'm not saying that to sell it to you guys. I'm saying that because I have legitimate inside information that is leading me to the conclusion that it won't be available much longer. That's all I can really say on that for right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. It helps out a ton with the algorithm. Thank you guys for the support. I can't end this video without doing a plug for my own product. So hop on over to Warhorse and check out my new intra, pre, and post workout product. This is an amino blend that I created myself. I absolutely love this product. It tastes amazing. This is a four pound container that you're getting on there. And it's got everything. It's got the branch chain amino acids, essential amino acids, creatine, glutamine, dextrose. And I formulated this with prime ratios of each product. So your body's getting maximum utilization out of the amino acids specifically. But like I said, you're also getting stuff like your creatine in there, right? So L-leucine is the primary amino acid that your body needs to build and maintain muscle mass. I put a high dose of that in there, but your body also needs the other products that I have in here as well in order to get maximum results with the loose go check out this product like i said i designed it i'm very proud of it i'm glad it's finally on the market it tastes great and i hope you guys enjoy it once again it's on warhorse totalfitness.com thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video